If you get low FPS or FPS drops in Valorant on your PC or laptop, this video is the one for you. I'm gonna show you how to boost FPS, fix stutters and FPS drops in Valorant without any BS. So let's get right into it. The very first thing that you want to do is go down into the description and download the Valorant Ultimate FPS Pack. Once you have it downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up to create a system restore point. Just in case that something doesn't work for you, you can easily revert everything. Assuming that you have done that, we can go back into the pack and go into the registry optimizations. So I've gathered a bunch of useful registry optimizations inside of this one single file. And why I have kept both of these separate, I'll get into that later. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what this one will do. So this is going to disable the Spectre and Meltdown patches which are no longer required by Windows since modern browsers come with their own patches and these keep running in the background eating up CPU resources. Then it disables the GPU energy driver which is a useless service. It also disables the driver searching with Windows Update because you should always be manually updating your drivers instead of relying on Windows. Win32 priority is set to 26 which then prefers your games. Then exclusive full screen basically a bunch of different things that you can read here to make sure that you're running your games inside of exclusive full screen. It also disables power throttling however if you are on a laptop then I would recommend changing this value to 0 instead of 1. Then there's the network throttling and system responsiveness which are both set right here and game scheduling is basically setting the priority of the games to high. Then disable sleep will of course disable sleep and same thing for the disable hibernation. Disabling automatic maintenance will make sure that the windows does not start maintenance services while you are gaming and hence causing stutters or FPS drops. Then here are a few of the mouse fixes which make sure that your sensitivity feels right and your mouse input is accurate. And then finally there's the disable background apps especially for windows 11 users because otherwise you would have to go inside of every single app and then disable it from there. But of course this will also work for windows 10. And then it also disables the widgets on windows 11. And all you need to do is simply double click on it, hit yes and then hit ok. Then disable prefetch. Now the reason I have kept this one separate is because those of you who only have a hard drive and don't have an SSD should not be using this one. But if you have an SSD then go ahead and disable prefetch. And finally there's the Valorant high priority. The reason this one is separate is because if you are not playing Valorant and you want to optimize your PC for any other game then you can simply go ahead and skip this one too. But of course we are gonna be playing Valorant so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one as well. Let's go back into the pack and move on to reduce the number of processes. Now I would recommend starting off with using auto runs and all you need to do is right click on it and run it as admin. Once it's done loading everything go on to the logon tab and simply uncheck anything that you don't want to start up with your windows. For example I don't want to start up the brave browser, chrome or even microsoft edge. I also don't want to start up the lively wallpaper and even notion. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck all of those and that's basically it. Now we can also move on to schedule tasks and uncheck any of the schedule tasks that you don't want the windows to perform on every startup. For example, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the Mozilla updater as well as the Microsoft Edge updater, the Windows updater, the Windows Media Sharing, the Google updater, the FTM updater, the Brave updater, all of these useless updaters that I don't want to run every time with Windows. Just make sure that you never uncheck anything that is related to your graphics card or your Windows and you should be good. Then we can go ahead and move on to services and we are gonna be basically repeating the same thing inside of here once again. So I'm gonna uncheck any of these Brave services or as well as the ad services, the google chrome services and that's basically it. Now all we need to do is close out of this and restart our pc. Now we will be restarting the pc in a bit but let's go back and let's go to apply all. Now what this one will do is if i right click on it and click on edit as you can see you can basically go ahead and read through every service that it's going to disable. Most of these are pretty useless services but even if you do use some of these services you can always revert them using these bad files. But for now let's go back once again right click on it and run it as admin and this is going to start in 5 seconds and then it's gonna go ahead and disable all of those useless services. Once it's done you can press any key to continue and also it was made by Kovi Tech as you can see right here. So then press any key to continue and it's gonna close out. Then there is the SVC host split threshold. Now what this one will do is actually group a bunch of services together and it's going to tremendously help you reducing the number of processes. Now one thing to keep in mind is that low number of processes does not always mean better performance. However it is still important to keep them as low as possible since higher processes will of course always always mean lower performance if they're using a lot more resources. So simply right click on it and run it as admin. Now inside of here you will need to input your RAM in MBs. You can go ahead and convert your RAM. For me I have 16 gigs of RAM and it should be 16384 I believe and then I hit enter and that's 16 gigs and now it has automatically applied. Go ahead and check your RAM and input that in the amount of MBs. And then one more important thing inside of here is for hard drive users. Once again if you don't have an SSD and only a hard drive then go ahead and use this one after you have used the 
apply all bad. But for the rest of you with an SSD, we can go ahead and move on to the next step and that is device cleanup. Inside of here, the very first thing that we want to do is of course delete all of the logs and temporary files. Now of course all of these files are completely safe to delete and these will not only free up some space but also improve the overall windows snappiness. So right click on it and run it as admin and then let it do its work in the background. The next one is the device cleanup so simply right click on it and run it as admin and it's going to open up this interface. Now inside of here what you want to do is click on devices then select all then once again devices and remove selected. This is going to delete all of those non-present devices that were once connected to your system but are no longer connected to it. The last one is of course the windows update cache cleaner. So simply right click on it and run it as admin and once again it's going to stop the windows update service and then it's going to clean up the update cache and that's it. Now we can move on to the optimizers. The first one here is the MSI utility so we're gonna right click on it and run it as admin. Make sure that you run all of these programs as admin otherwise they may not work properly. Inside of here just find your graphics card make sure to check the MSI box and then set the interrupt priority to high and then click on apply. Then close out of this and we can move on to unparking the CPU core once again running as admin. Once this loads up make sure to click on unpark all hit ok apply ok and you can close out of this. This is going to make sure that none of the cores are idle and all of them are performing at their peak performance. The final one is the WPD so simply right click on it once again and run it as admin. Now what is WPD? WPD is the windows privacy dashboard and it basically blocks off all of the telemetry as well as the spying services that are used by Microsoft. As you can see I have disabled all of the telemetry and I'm also gonna go ahead and block all of the telemetry IPs. Once you are done with both of these you can go on to privacy and inside of here just make sure that all of these are turned off as you can see right here. Inside of the blocker go ahead and click on the telemetry. You can also go with extra or even blocking the updates from here but I wouldn't really recommend that. And finally there are the apps you can simply go ahead and uninstall any of the apps that you don't want to use on your system. This is basically helping you debloat your windows with minimal effort. Once you are done with this let's move on to the final one and that is advanced. Inside of here there is the windows defender. Now in case of Valorant specifically having windows defender on can cause a lot of stutters. This may not be the case for a lot of you but for some people windows defender does cause a lot of stutters inside of Valorant. Also disabling defender puts your system at risk if you do not search safely online. So I would only recommend this to those who know what they are doing and who are facing stutters because of the Microsoft Defender. And all you would need to do is simply drag these files onto this power run and then hit yes and that would be it. Now you can go ahead and restart your PC and enjoy the improved experience. So moving on to the benchmarks, the average FPS went from around 216 to around 268, which is like a 50 FPS improvement on average. And the 1% lows went from 140s to 180s, which is a massive improvement as this is what actually helps prevent stutters and FPS drops. However, keep in mind that every system is different so you may see more or less improvement or FPS boost depending on your system. But if you want to get even more FPS then check out this video right now.